All right, hey everyone. I don't have time to set up my tripod right now. I'm just really, really quickly filming this little intro. I'm holding my camera right now. But um, I wanted to say this really quick um, I, because I, there's not really time for the voiceover. This is my first time applying face paint to myself. And I, I'm, we learned about stuff like that in class. I do kind of know what I'm talking about, but it's not the best. Also, I do know how to do liquid latex and that kind of stuff. But it's not very good and I'm not 100% happy with it but practice makes perfect and maybe I'll do some more Halloween-ish videos throughout the year like special effects if I end up practicing and liking it more and also these face paints that I use are really crappy and I just got them really cheap like last year so obviously you could use different kinds of things but I a uh, little disclaimer kinda I do know what I'm saying it's just not executed so well I did do a lot of this off camera I skipped through it so it wouldn't be so long I did have two hours of footage so pretty much what I'm trying to say is I'm sorry that it's not the best but I wanted to get a really kinda different tutorial up for you guys and I hope you still enjoy it and I will try to practice some more and get you some better face paint things in the future um, and maybe buy some better ones but enough blabber, let's just get on to the actual tutorial. You could totally use a white, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just used this grayish white one. It's really light gray. It worked, though. Um, I started by brushing it on, then I realized sponging it is a lot better, and it won't leave streaks. Um, if you're going for like an opaque look, you can do a couple layers. I just did one all over my face and down onto my neck, over my eyelids, everything like that. And since it's really crappy, it made me really super oily, so I just used a little tiny bit of translucent powder just to control that. In terms of my eyebrows, um, I didn't use the glue stick thing or anything. I didn't want them to be, like, covered. I just wanted them to look like they were covered in paint, and that paint didn't really work. So I used these little stick, I don't know what you call it, like a face paint crayon to white out my eyebrows but still make them look like they're there, but they've been covered in paint for like a long time. I'm kind of going for that like old crusty clown kind of thing that sounded weird, but yeah. And then there's me laughing at myself with no eyebrows and realizing how yellow my teeth look. I'm putting a little spin on the classic like clown lines, I guess you could call them, on the eyes. Um, usually they're black and I see like black eye makeup and red lips, so I kind of switched it around and did that like triangle kind of thing on my... Uh, you can see what I'm doing here. I can't really explain it. Better than on both eyes, only one on camera. And just to kind of make me look very clown-like. Because when I think of clowns and makeup tutorials, this is what I think of. And then I'm taking a wet um, Q-tip and smudging it out. And kind of like taking away some of the paint to look like I've been crying. And then I'm like, have some wear and tear from maybe my oils on my face. Because I'm a clown. <laughs> You will notice that you'll have some creasing in your eyes and your face is kind of cakey and gross with this, but you kind of want that for the old zombie clown look. I'm just taking a matte red eyeshadow and placing it on top of the cream to set it and add some more pigment. If you are really going to do this on Halloween or something like this, I would use better face paint, but I didn't have any. Also, color contacts would really add to it, but I did not have them available and I've never worn them. And then I'm taking this dark gray color from the little cake palette that I have on a Q-tip and drawing like lines across my forehead and smudging them out to kind of look like I have like expression lines on my face like that around my smile area as well. You can do that wherever you feel like you would get expression lines. Um, but it kind of makes you look a little bit more worn into the makeup and I think it adds to the kind of character I was going for. But then I take my fingers and smudge it out. Um, also, the forehead was kind of pointless because I do cover it up with some gore later on, but if you're going to keep the look like this without adding the um, special effects, you could totally just add your crazy emotion lines and then smudging out underneath my eyes. For the lips, I pretty much just outlined them a little bit with some black paint and then drew like a kind of mustache from my basis and made like a over exaggerated kind of mouth the black and then I made it bigger and bigger and bigger filled it in with some black lipstick and then I smudged it out made like a lot a lot smudged it out so it looked like you know I had been rubbing my face once again ha this makeup is lived in and it's um 
kind of like, I'm, I'm an old creepy man in a clown makeup. And I'm sad and I'm a zombie. All that kind of stuff. I really don't know what I was going for with this look. It was totally winged. Or I totally winged it. But it's turned out pretty cool. But yeah. Just some black lipstick. <laughs> I'm so bad at voiceovers. <laughs> You could totally leave the makeup just like this and you get a kind of creepy effect anyway, so I was posing for you. But, you know, I'm I'm going for it, so kind of cleaning off that little area and putting on some liquid latex is going to take a little bit of explaining. So what I'm doing is taking some tissues and ripping them into kind of jagged pieces and taking the layers and splitting them in half. And then I'm putting a thin layer of liquid latex with a sponge on the area that I want and letting it dry for a, like a little bit to get tacky and placing the um, tissue on it and ripping off the pieces that I don't want and to make it more jagged and wound-like. And then for adding more layers, I'm putting on some latex and, sp and another layer of tissue. Sorry, I've never really explained this, so I'm just trying to do it right now. But I put on like three to four layers to make it easy to cut through for my wounds. And I'm doing the same exact thing on my forehead. It's not really necessary to show you, but just the same thing, layers of tissue. I just realized how badly I explained that, but you probably get the idea. So once it's pretty much dry, I'm taking some extra latex and running it around the edges to smooth it out and make it look more like my actual skin. And to make it look even more like my skin, I'm taking the dark gray. Because it's white, it'll the color will show up later. So I'm taking the dark gray to make it blend a little bit more. And if I was using my natural skin, I'd put on a darker foundation, that kind of thing. So just using that to blend it. Since I have two wounds, I'm going to be repeating pretty much all the steps for both of them, so just putting the gray around it, and yeah, this is going to, I'm not going to have to explain it twice, you just, we'll see, that's what I do, because <laughs> I have two wounds. Now I'm taking my scissors, and this, these little cuticle scissors, be very careful with this part, and lay the scissors flat onto your face so you're not stabbing yourself, but I'm just cutting a little gash in that latex tissue area. And I'm cutting a few of them, pulling it off. It kind of hurts a little bit, but it gets like, you can see like stretchy, the latex. And that's where my wound is going to, wound <laughs> is going to go. And I'm just going to pull off some of the ends to add some more little holes in my face. Don't really know, I just wanted to have some holes in my face for my zombie clown. Don't ask questions, just go with it. And I did the same thing my forehead, like I said, and... For the little gashes so you can look deeper and more real, I'm adding some black inside and underneath and all around the edges to, you know, kind of make it look like they're deeper and give it more dimension than just having red everywhere and having my skin so show through. I can't really explain it, but it all makes sense in the end. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. But now some red eyeshadow and smudging it all around to give it more of a basis for the blood because the blood's not going to, like, necessarily stick everywhere. So smudging everything out. And now taking some fake blood, I'm going to say real blood, um, and just drawing that all around the area. This is like thicker, so it's going to add like a stain and putting that a little bit inside of the wounds. And now I'm taking this like greenish yellow from that same little palette and putting it around. I originally wanted it to look more bruised, but it ended up, this is where I turned myself into a zombie and realized, hey, I might as well do that because it looked zombie-ish. So like the green decaying skin, that kind of stuff, and some gray to make it look bruised. And adding a little bit of a contour and some color around the rest of my face to make it all balanced. This is like the longest voiceover, oh my god. <gasps> yeah, of course, I'm out of frame on this part. But I'm taking a different blood, which is more runnier, and it's like stage blood, and I'm putting that inside of the little cuts that I have to kind of make it drippy and look a little bit more fresh, possibly. I don't know, the basis of bruises makes it look decaying, but I guess it looks like I'm freshly bleeding because of this, but when it dries, it looks better. But yeah, I'm just putting that in and letting it drip down my face a little bit with some control and then smudging it around everywhere just so I look more gross. And that is how I did it. It was very messy, very wings, and it was had no rhyme or reason to it, I just made it up as I went, and it wasn't bad for my first time using latex. And I realize I'm a clown, so I might as well put a red clown nose on. But yeah, that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and 
yeah, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.